GarageBand for Windows. Apple's not going to make it, sorry. They don't make software for Windows. I mean, sure, you've got the Safari browser, which has a very small installed base on Windows, and you've got iTunes, which is used by virtually everybody on the planet because everybody has an iPhone or an iPod. But the reality is Apple's specialty is making software that runs on Mac OS X or now on the iPad. But they don't really make software that is going to be appealing or usable for Windows users. They want you to switch over and buy a Mac instead. So what can you do if you want to get all of those great features that GarageBand has that makes making music fun? I mean, you can, you can create loops. You can auto-tune like T-Pain. All those things that you want to do, have fun with your music, are right there at your fingertips with an application called MixCraft. Now, MixCraft isn't GarageBand, but it's pretty darn close, at least in my opinion, because it does all the things that GarageBand can do, only it does them on Windows. So let me show you a few of those features. As you can see, the MixCraft interface looks somewhat similar to the GarageBand interface. They both have um, a series of tracks that you can include over here. Um, one difference between MixCraft and GarageBand uh, that is immediately evident is you can record an unlimited number of tracks simultaneously in MixCraft. GarageBand limits you to eight, uh, but then again, you'll see down here that you can also uh, choose from some loops. You can choose by tempo, key, mood, style, kind of instrument, a name. If you build a song kit, you can use that. Uh, so lots of choices, somewhat similar to GarageBand. Here again, you get about twice as many uh, loop choices that come default with MixCraft as come with GarageBand. So um, MixCraft has a slight edge there as well. So we'll go through and we'll, we'll pick an instrument here. How about the, uh, the Power Ballad acoustic guitar? We'll drag it up here. And as you can see, it, it downloads it, adds it to the timeline. And here's another thing that is a similarity between MixCraft and GarageBand in that uh, GarageBand has what's called, um, I believe, flex time and groove matching that help keep your songs in rhythm and match the tempos of things. And MixCraft does the same thing by recognizing the, the tempo of your uh, project and the tempo of the import that you do. And it will automatically switch each of the loops that you add so that the tempo is matched. And if there is a pitch difference between them, it will adjust the pitch so that everything matches up. So now that I've added that to the timeline, um, I could also then play on top of it uh, using a musical instrument um, as you can see here, I have like uh, instrument track one, and if I click on the change instrument, which is the fastest way to get to um, the musical typing keyboard, I can say have acoustic brass, um, and let's say I want 76 trombones as my sample, and I'll pull up the musical typing keyboard, and while those sound very cheesy, that is sort of synthesized 76 trombones, so you get different sounds depending on what you choose. I'll show you a different one just so you can see the difference. If I switch to the bright Vox, you can hear that it is a different sound once again. So you have lots of choices. Um, there's literally uh, hundreds, maybe thousands of these things in here to choose from so that you can create uh, your own customized musical performance. Another thing that you can do is in any of these tracks, you can uh, set the effects so that you are choosing something like a different amplifier. So you can get guitar amps and effects that make your guitars sound like some of the professional stuff. Like if you want to get um, chorus, compressor, delay, distortion, you can add all those things in the software so that you get the sound that you want. There's also uh, some choices where you can get amplifiers that sound a little bit like classic amps from uh, kind of the guitar rock world. Other things that you may be looking for that are similar to GarageBand, um, I already showed you like the musical typing keyboard. You can also do some pitch shifting so that you can get kind of the auto-tune thing that uh, probably T-Pain is one of the people most well known for. Everybody seems to be doing it in the music industry these days. And it's one of the things that you can do right here in MixCraft, just like you could using GarageBand as well. Something that's available in MixCraft that is not available in GarageBand 
is you can actually edit video from this timeline. Now, I personally don't know why you would want to do that. I mean, you can play back videos inside of GarageBand, and so you can play in both. You can actually edit in MixCraft. I'm honestly not someone who would ever use that feature, but it's a nice to have feature if you wanted to be able to do all of your editing in one place. There you have it. MixCraft is the closest thing you're going to get to GarageBand for Windows. It does almost all of the same things that you can do with Apple's GarageBand. It even supports the Apple Loop format so that you can get all of those great features. You can trade songs back and forth with your friends who have a Mac and are currently using GarageBand, which makes it pretty convenient for being able to create some fun music projects. And with that, there'll be a link coming up at the end where you can click the link and go to a page where you can download MixCraft right there.